I think what ACS boys are confident in, in our education, are confident in the blessings that we have. And the real key thing is that what we want to do is share it with others. Richard Xiao went to Anglo-Chinese school, as did his great-grandfather, grandfather, father, and his own three sons. The fourth generation Axion has chaired the ACS Board of Governors since 2008. He has been kept busy since news broke that ACS Primary will move from Barker Road to the new town of Tenga from 2030 and also take in girls. ACS and the Methodist Welfare Services will also be setting up a new special education school for children with autism. I'm Sumiko Tan, Executive Editor of The Straits Times. I'm meeting Mr. Xiao at New Upin Seafood Restaurant in Stevens Road. Appropriately, the restaurant is run by a very loyal Axion, as can be seen on the walls. So, Richard, what has been the sort of reaction you've been handling on the ACS? Store? I would say it is very much positive. I think the majority of people understand. I think the majority of people are supportive. And so we spend a lot of time explaining the situation, the whys, the whens, the whats. And I think hopefully most of them uh, now understand the background of what we had announced. What was the greatest concern? Um, I think it was, it was quite clear um, distance was an issue. Um, I think uh, having a co-ed school was an issue. Um, and I think also alumni privilege was, was the issue. So those were the three main concerns that were voiced. Right. And how did you uh, address them? I think for the co-ed situation, um, it was uh, in the terms of our agreement with MOE that we would um, meet the needs of the community so that we would also take boys and girls. And I think some of the senior members of the ACS stakeholders um, had some reservations with that but I think hopefully they will see in the test of time that this was a good decision. Um, I think alumni issues were still in discussion on the details and hopefully we'll come back with uh, um, good responses to the questions that were raised. Um, distance wise I think Singapore is actually quite small um, so if I look at from ACS Barker Road to Tenga, it is not that far distance. But if you live in the East Coast, maybe it's a bit further. But I remember when I was a, a, a schoolboy in ACS, the school buses came from all over. And it was a fun time and you had your school bus friends and you had your school friends from the soccer team. And so I think it would be something that people I think will understand and will accommodate. Uh, do you foresee a lot of fundraising required? Uh, there will be. I mean, this is ACS and we all sort of chip in to support the school. So I think we'll continue the ACS tradition of figuring out how we fund all the different things that we need. But I th would say that the MOE is very supportive and the MOE will basically take on uh, the largest proportion of the funding. So actually, uh, having a new school and a special needs school, it's not something new. ACS had been thinking about it for a long time. We've talked about moving into the community and talk about special needs um, essentially from the time that I've been on the board. So that's probably more than 15, 15, 20 years now. So it's something that is part of the ACS ethos. Um, we want to share the blessing of ACS to many others. And we're delighted that uh, we're able to do this now. And are you yourself, you're a fourth generation ACS boy. Yes, I am. A very proud one. I'm very blessed to be a fourth generation ACS boy. My lifelong friends are from ACS. Uh, my primary one class meets every month for dinner and we're 61 this year. And so we have a dinner every month and um, a lot of friends we have lost, but we all still remember them. Um, it's my childhood, it's my life and ACS is part of me and so I'm happy to help ACS move forwards in different directions. And uh, I hope others will come in and help. And I hope people 
will support these moves. Do you think ACS is misunderstood in any way? I think when you bring up the name ACS, there will be many reactions, depending on who you ask. And I think what we look at is really not what people describe us as, not what they criticize us for. I think what ACS boys are confident in, in our education, are confident in the blessings that we have. And the real key thing is that what we want to do is share it with others. Because if you keep ACS unto yourself, it will not, not no longer be ACS. ACS needs to be shared with others, and that then strengthens ACS. And that's the mission of a Methodist uh, school. Mm. The phrase or the motto, the best is yet to be, how do you interpret that? The best description that I've heard is that the best is yet to be is a promise. It's a promise and it's a thanks for what we've received but it's a promise for the next generation. How do we give that blessing to them and to more people? And so I'm happy that we have more ACS schools in Singapore and in the region, and hopefully it will continue. And you have been actually in the news for many, many years since you were a schoolboy. How have you dealt with that sort of public glare? Not very well. Um, I don't like interviews, but uh, if I need to be in front, um, I should be, but I'm actually more comfortable behind the camera taking photographs. And I'd like to, once this dies down, I'd like to go back behind the camera and take photographs. You are quite a photographer. Could you just share how that came about? It was an interesting story, and I'm not sure my wife wants me to repeat this again, but when my sons were in primary two and primary three, um, they went out for sports, and they were very good sportsmen. And so, when they went for training, I would be the dutiful parent that sat in the stands and sometimes I used to shout instructions to them on the field or in the pool. And one night my wife came back to me and said, uh, Dad, I don't think that your sons want you to shout at them. They have a coach, they're instructors, you don't need to do that. This is my gift to you. It's a camera with a long lens. Please go and take photos of your sons and their friends and they will have these memories. And so, you know, almost 20 years later, I've got uh, many, many gigabytes of, of photos and uh, great memories. What do you live by? Is there a phrase or a belief? Well, the one that's in my mind all the time now is the best is yet to be. And it's not a self-serving phrase. It's a phrase that we can all do better, um, that we can all live better, we can all help each other and one of the key things I think for the ACS education is that uh, we become leaders and we become servant leaders. And the key thing for ACS is that while we are blessed and we are able to lead, we still must become servant leaders and serve others. Thank you very much for having lunch. Thank you for lunch. Mine is uh, high mountain pojong tea with honey and then 50% uh, less ice. And then sometimes if I feel like I need something more, I'll add bubbles. <laughs> yes? Mine is just a pure tea. Oh. Like, yeah, just tea itself. 